Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. I hope you're all doing well. I start my day by thanking God and I put my glasses on and go and open my blinds and then I turn on my air purifier. This just helps me with allergies and sinus problems which I struggle with quite a lot. I don't generally put makeup on when I wake up or even throughout the day really, I just kind of go natural, that's just what I prefer. But I decided to do this just for you guys because I have a lot of people asking me what I do, what my makeup routine is kind of thing. And it's pretty basic, it really is minimal. There's this new product that I wanted to try out which was the one that you can see right now. It was a Chinese product, I actually thought it was a concealer or some kind of like foundation but it ends up being a primer this was actually the first time i've ever used a primer because i don't really bother with makeup anyway and when i do put some on it's never really heavy but yeah i just thought let me try it i've bought it anyway it was pink and it's quite soft putting it on it's like it made my skin softer and this is the main product. This is what I've been using for years. I absolutely love it. It's a brand Maybelline and it's an anti-eye eraser. It's basically a concealer and I use it as a concealer, foundation, everything in one really. I think I struggle with dark circles the most, so that's why I love this product. So I use it to focus around my nose area, under my eyes especially, and then I just apply a little bit more around my face, but those are the main areas. And then for my lips, I literally just use Vaseline, the plain old Vaseline. And then for my eyes, which I don't really do, this is kind of like me just being fancy right now for the camera. But I generally take a Poundland eyeliner in black and I just go over my eyes a little bit with that. And then I do something which might be weird to some people, I don't know if people do this, but I basically brush my eyebrows. <laughs> And then after eating breakfast, I go out into my garden. If I'm not going out anywhere else, if I don't have plans outside, then I'll make sure to get fresh air and exercise in my garden. I've started doing some steps lately. I have like a wristband and it counts how many steps I do. So I've been like hiring it as I go just to reach higher goals. And while I'm outside doing that, my cats always come and they love hanging around me. I also give them a few treats outside so they enjoy it as well. When I got back in, I decided enough was enough because I'm getting really frustrated with the amount of clutter I've got. I just need that mental brain space. I want everything cleared. Sometimes I just want to like throw everything in a bag and donate it and have like an empty room. <laughs> So I decided I'm going to start. I tried not to feel overwhelmed when I started the decluttering process. I kind of told myself I'm just going to get through like a little bit at a time and not like have everything on the floor but that did not happen. <laughs> I don't know what happened. It all ended up on the floor. It started off good and then it ended up like the room just basically exploded or was bombed. Everything was an entire mess and I'm still waiting to get around finishing it, but I started off with my scarves. I've had like these scarves on this rail for the longest time and for those who don't know much about the scarf, which we say hijab, they also go out of fashion. So before we used to have like patterned scarves and they're like dyed down now. So it's kind of like the solid coloured scarves that are in. So I was just getting rid of some patterned scarves, some coloured plain scarves I don't like either and I reduced them to quite a significant amount so I'm really happy with that. Then once I'm done and I've got everything sorted, all of the pile that I don't want anymore, I take it to the washing machine and then I dry them and I place them inside a bag and I donate them. I decided that I want to move my room around a little bit. Sometimes like you have a space and you're just not utilizing it properly. 
that was what was going on with this room like it was a generous space like this the room is pretty big but i was making it way smaller like i would go in and not want to do anything in that room because it just feels like there was no space and i couldn't think and i just didn't feel relaxed there so i started moving things around i brought the rail towards the door so that like there's more room floor space and then I took the wooden doors which are for my wardrobe and I've never put them on that's because my cats love to sleep inside the wardrobe so I just didn't have the heart to put the doors on and it kind of looks funny because I'm pretty small and I'm carrying these massive doors and placing them behind the rail Then I decided to move on to my dresses. I actually sorted my clothes not long ago but for some reason I just felt like I needed to do it all over again and there was a lot to get rid of somehow. This here is a dress I got made for me when I was in year 11 actually so I've had it for a really long time. I wore it for Lever's Day and we rented out a limousine which was really cool back then. It was still like a new thing, limousines like super expensive. We all chipped in, there was like six of us and we all just like paid and contributed towards it. And who remembers when these Chinese dresses were in fashion? I've still got quite a few of those as you can see. So I decided it's finally time to get rid of it. This black one here I actually just wore once and that's it. And I love this dress, absolutely beautiful. I've only ever wore it once. It really needs a special occasion. I feel like this can even be a bride's dress. It's so beautiful. It was gifted to me from my older sister and it was for Eid, which is like everyone's Christmas, if you don't know. I really love white and I love lace. She got this from H&M, so I definitely put that back in my wardrobe. That's going nowhere. So I carried on cleaning off camera and this is a finished wardrobe. I'm so proud of how many I've managed to get rid of. This whole bin bag here and then I also sorted the top off camera so I had lots of bags that I got rid of and then that little area there is for Leo and my other cat to sleep inside. And by the time I finished doing that Leo was so bored so I got this toy out, it's like a wand and I attached this worm onto it. They never used to sell these as cat toys. I used to get the worms from Poundland, they used to be like a pack of six for a pound and I thought of doing it. And then a few, like a year or so later, I started seeing them being sold as cat toys on eBay. So I thought that was just so funny. But he absolutely loves them. Sometimes you can get them with bells on. Sometimes they just come as a worm without one. He goes berserk because there's like a net. As you can see, it's got holes in now because he's been ripping it by playing. It basically goes over my bed. It's from Ikea. It's meant to be for outside. But because I hate spiders so much and I'm so scared of them I just thought of basically putting that like around my bed just to stop spiders coming in and flies because they were getting really annoying at summertime and mosquitoes so there's a hack for you oh and it also looks really nice you kind of feel like a queen inside and here's the mess that I told you guys about <laughs> look at that flamingo just slapped on the floor poor thing r.i.p my focus that day was to just try and get as much done as possible in this room and I got rid of some slippers, some tops, trousers, jeans, bags, dresses. I've got more clothes on the other side of the room by the way, this is just half. But you can see that the wardrobe is just so much neater, like it was so full before that I couldn't really see what I had, I couldn't really access it. And now for my tops, I have made them in sections like according to colour. So I've got my creams, my browns, my blacks, my whites, my pinks. I always do this whenever I organise my clothes but it never stays this way. I'm not OCD about it or anything, I just think it's helpful like if I'm in a rush and I'm, I need like a white top then I just know okay these are all my white tops and it just helps me to pick one out then. So as you can see I've also done the same with my scarves. It looks so beautiful. 
it's going to be locked down by the time you're watching this but before that we also had the rules and regulations of like not going to each other's homes and all of that so i haven't seen my mom in such a long time obviously due to covid before that i used to see them once a week so i kind of wanted to think of a way to see her but not see her i decided to go into pan stretcher because it was on the way and i went and grabbed some sweets because i know they all really love sweets my siblings over there and my mum so yeah i had to look around grabbed a few put them in a bag and we went to see my mum but not see her so basically we knocked the door and i just left the sweets on the doorstep and kind of like gave her a wave and we were on our way but it was just better than nothing you know so while i was at pound stretcher i just got my phone out and decided to record a little bit so that you can see some of the stuff and come along with me And I have filmed the Christmas range in detail on one of my other trips, so you can check the playlist if you're interested in that. But here are all the sweets, they've got so many you guys, and they have a lot of tubs as well, so if you're looking for that, it's quite cheap here. Lots of Haribos, they've got like some new Skittles out as well, and fudge, loads of things, aniseed balls, oh I love aniseed balls. I don't like licorice but my mum likes licorice and I love bonbons. This is my basket, I tried not to spend too much, I got a few things for my crafting and then the rest was just for my mum. This is the bag here with everything inside, I got some popcorn for her as well. Our high street has changed quite a lot due to covid, there's a lot of roads are blocked now, you cannot drive down them at all. And then on the high street itself you can't park there because the pavements are quite narrow so they've tried to like make it bigger by blocking off some of the roads so that pedestrians can walk on the road instead. And so while I was out on the high street I decided to go into Poundland, seeing as everyone loves Poundland on my channel I always go in so regularly just to see if there's anything new. So here I am just checking, doing my like usual job. <laughs> I think the staff know me by now, like I go in so many times. So I have filmed the Christmas range in detail as well, like the entire Christmas range. Every single item has been filmed. If you're interested in that, again, check my Christmas playlist or my Shop With Me playlist. So on this trip there was nothing new and I went on my way to carry out the plan to see my mum and drop off the sweets. I just received our Tesco delivery. I had to wait for this order for basically a month, believe it or not. It's pretty much impossible to get delivery slots now with COVID. And generally I use Morrison's, but I haven't been able to use them because it's really impossible to get a delivery slot. And like I said, I had to wait a month for this. So I have been doing my own shopping. I just did this because I was really busy and I needed like a big top up. So I've got a big order here and they've got them in these big plastic bags I feel like I said big quite a few times but I'm just going to show you all what I have bought so I've got some cat food this isn't actually for the cats it is for some birds I feed some magpies and some crows and they're always coming every morning to my window and yeah I just basically feed them some 
cat or dog food so this is for them and these are for my cats they're really good well she doesn't like it actually but my other cat does and then if she just gets out of the way these are also for the cats she's waiting for a treat that's why she's everywhere I've got some shaving gel some fruit I've never bought these small bananas but I have trouble finishing a whole one and everyone in the family and they just tend to waste so I've got smaller ones hopefully we can finish those these were on sale I think I got them for a pound so I just got one because I thought it's kind of too cheap to just pass up really I think it will come in handy I do have a blow up single bed so I thought that it would be nice to have a pillow with it um, this is from Carex it kills 99.9% .9 bacteria so I've got this it's a hand wash refill you don't want to be seeing her butt so let me just get her out of the way for you and I have got some fairy liquid this is a lot bigger and it's a different scent I've never used, so I'm looking forward to smelling that. And I've got some mouthwash, more antibacterial fairy liquid. I do like the antibacterial one because when I wash like my mincemeat and all of that kind of stuff, I do prefer to have some antibacterial. I've got some nice apples. These ones are small. I also have got some Rayburn apples. Roll on some simple hand wash I've got this Strombo kitchen roll I prefer to get two smaller ones but they didn't have any in stock and that's another problem with Covid it's really hard getting things because everything is pretty much selling out I've got some plums these look really good I've got some blueberries two packs of those some corn on the cobs two pack of those as well one of them goes and the other comes i also got two pack of this butterhead salad it's actually my favorite bag salad i think i've like got two pack of quite a few things these which you can freeze but i haven't tried that i do like the apricot flavor the most i know it is meant to be for kids lunch boxes and then i've got some strawberries I do like my fruit. Fruit and salad are like my favourite things. Mango, mango chunks, some watermelon chunks, the muller rice, I've got my milk, red and green, feta cheese, and Philadelphia light. What else do I have? I have picked up these, some Jaffa cake rolls. Um, some pasta, I've got some fennel, this is for coffee, I really like the gingerbread, I'm waiting for that to come out now that it's Christmas, and I've got these, I use the Bolti jar, I don't ever use the whole one, it's just sort of like for flavourings, uh, yeah, I don't really like using that much jar sauce because a lot of sugar in there. I've picked up a few Nando's sauces because I've run out. Mango and lime. I don't think I've tried that one. I think that's new. Mango and lime, so I've got two of those. This is a really good sauce. I can't eat anything without having some of this on top, but I do like things spicy and hot. I've got another fennel. And then I have brought these ice fingers. I really like these. They're quite low fat as well. I don't really have a lot of icing. I just have a small amount. But oh gosh, M&S do a really good version of these. You have to try them out. They're raspberry, so they've got like raspberry icing on the top. And then inside they have a raspberry jam and it's just so good. It tastes like a donut, but without the gill attached. <laughs> this is another nando sauce i've got the bigger one because it was like three pounds something and it made sense just to get the bigger ones so this is in medium i've also got some of these now added sugar jellies they have them in black currant orange and strawberry i'm not sure if there's any other flavors and then i got these what's it's giants 
I'm looking forward to having these because sometimes I just need like three or four and yeah I think that would be good because it's one big bag and I could just put one of those clips on. These are from Tesco as well and he really likes it. It's got sweet potato in there, chicken and sweet potato. It doesn't have any sugar in there either so it's a really healthy treat. I've also got these eggs, they're different eggs, I haven't tried these before, I just stick with the usual free range that are just the typical ones that you can get like these. This one is another one, so I'm looking forward to this actually. <laughs> I've never seen blue eggs in my life. They're kind of grey actually, I mean these are like blue and then these are just sort of like grey blue. But look at how pretty that is. So nice. Let's see if these look any different. They do. They're quite big, aren't they? And they're brown. Dark brown. Yeah, these are just the usual standard ones that I get. I put a few things in the fridge already. So I also got this Greek star yogurt, which we had today with dinner. And it was so good. And this is another thing, some strawberry trifle. It's been so long since I have had trifle. I just kind of like the custard and the jelly. I don't really like the bottom fruity biscuity part or the cream on top. So that's my Tesco haul. I hope that you have enjoyed. The next day I wanted to go into Wilco to get some stuff for the cats and I decided again to get my camera out and film a little bit. This is like a bigger branch, it's not my local one, this one is like half an hour away and even then I felt like the home range wasn't that much. They have a lot of candles in, a lot of diffusers, some essential oils, they had quite a lot of that in there and you can see some potpourri packs. They had this lantern which I was so excited to show you all because I was like, well, eight pounds for this. They had it in gold and white and I picked up the white version. They had lots of cushions in, you can get two for eight, otherwise they were five pounds each. They also had some pretty jugs in, nice colours, and some bowls, some vases, artificial flowers, and artificial plants. These ones were £6. The sunflower ones were 10 and these lavender ones were 4 which I thought was a really good price. Some other ones were 5 and then they had smaller ones up here, some succulents, £4 for most of them. And these were all of the artificial flowers that they had in. Some were two, some were two fifty, going up to five. You even had some that were one pound fifty. And now I'm just doing the errands that the cat sent me on. <laughs> They had all of these fleece products in, they were just so soft. I always love going and looking at the skin range in shops and I love Wilco's products because they're always so fairly priced, like they're so inexpensive but they're really good as well. You can see here that a lot of things are just a pound and the skin therapy range that they have is really good, I use quite a lot of them. I went into a few more shops next and a few other places to see if I can film and if there's anything good enough and then I went into M&S and these are the ice fingers I told you guys about. I love them so much that's why I've got two packs and this is everything else I brought. I always go in to get their fruit and their salad and I really love these noodles and the stir fry packs that they have there as well. When I got out of the store I was so surprised with how beautiful the sunset was. Look at it, it's just amazing. 
When I got home, I made some corn cobs and I stuck some sweet potato chips and wedges inside the air fryer and I made some chicken and salad. Healthy dish and it was so good. So I have a really exciting unboxing for you all. I could have opened it on my own but I didn't because I want to share it with you all. So I've got the box here. Look at how big it is. Whoa. I can't even get it into the camera frame. I kind of had a bit of a hard time getting it out of the box. This is the box and this is the company. Teddy Blake, I don't know if you guys have heard of them, they are a luxury designer handbag company and they reached out to me, asked me if I want to review one of their products, I said yes. And let me just tell you, when I went onto their website, I fell in love. Their bags are so beautiful, I actually had such a hard time picking one, like I made a list, narrowed it down and just had such a hard time, they're so so beautiful. And this is actually my second option. There was one bag and I will show you guys the image over here because it was so beautiful. Like, you guys have to see it. Even if I didn't receive it, I just wanted to show you all. I just love the box already. Look at how beautiful it is. And then this is how it opens. It kind of like flips open like this. Discover your Teddy Blake designer handbag. And then... It opens up like this. Look at how beautiful that is. And in the inside it says Teddy Blake designer handbags made in Italy. Luxury leather. So then inside the box you're going to have your bag and it's covered with a plastic bag. And then it's covered with some bubble wrap. And then it's even covered with like a material bag that basically protects it from dust and everything. Let me just open it all now and show you the best part. The bag itself. I just had to stop to smell it. Oh, it smells so good. Because it's actual genuine Italian leather, it's just got such a nice smell to it. And by the way, they make these in the Italian factories that all the other designer handbags make them at. So basically you get a designer handbag at the fraction of the price and that's actually their motto fashion at a fraction <laughs> when i was on their website i saw that they come out with new handbags every month so like if they don't have your style you can always subscribe and then you get to see like all the new handbags that come out oh my goodness it's so beautiful guys okay so this is a bag that i showed you guys earlier and it's got like the strings here that you can pull just look at this. Let, let me just move along again. Look at how beautiful it already looks. It's so nice. Okay, so this is the bag. It's pretty big. I did get a big one. This is 15 inches. So sometimes, I'm not sure for this style if you can get smaller ones, but generally, like if they have a range, they'll have it in different sizes. So you can opt for a smaller one if you like. They also have different finishes, so I saw them selling this bag in like a smooth finish, but I really prefer the texture that you can see on there. I just felt like it adds to it. And then here it's got like the Teddy Blake New York in gold. And you've got your labels on there and gold zippers. So this is really good for like school, work, university, whatever. You can fit your laptop in there. And you've got two pockets, zip ones, and this is the other one here. You also have the chain if you want to like make it longer, or you can just hold it. And then inside, and they've got different colours for this. So I've got like a red maroon colour, they've got like a bright red inside, they had like a blue one. And like if you need more space, you can open this little side bit here. It will just pop open if you've got like too much to carry or you can just close it so you've got that option as well it just smells so amazing like you can tell this is genuine genuine leather and the quality is really outstanding like i do feel like why you know pay so much when you can get a really good quality bag 
that looks amazing as well for like way less and look at the inside like there's just so much space <laughs> that just popped open now but you can see it's huge like you can really fit so much in there I was reading and I saw that they treat and dye their leather so that it can last longer through all like the wear and tear of everyday use. And now that Christmas is coming along, I think this is a good gift option. I will leave their details in the description box for you to check out and the link to the bag that I got as well. I wanted to end this vlog with a bit of tranquility, so I went to the park and it's absolutely beautiful seeing autumn, all of the leaves on the ground and all of the different colours. Honestly, this year I wasn't looking forward to autumn. I felt like Corona had robbed us of spring and summer and so we couldn't really enjoy it and now autumn was here and the short, colder days. I generally am not really a autumn girl. I always kind of saw it as everything dying but now I really try to change and shift my mindset and in doing that it really has helped me see the beauty of autumn. I always find peace in nature, the sounds, the colours, the beauty. I always clear my mind on walks, get exercise and get some much needed fresh air. One of my favourite sounds in the parks is running water, it's just so soothing, it's like it melts all of your troubles away. I really love hearing the birds in the trees tweeting away and the sounds of children laughing in the background. If you're feeling bored, suffocated, stuck at home due to the lockdown and the whole coronavirus situation, then I definitely advise you to get out, even if it's just somewhere around the corner, somewhere that's local to you that you can find a park. Just sit and enjoy yourself, take in all of your surroundings and focus on that. On the way home I came across this cafe that had these pods outside and I thought it was so beautiful and romantic looking. I know this is for the distancing for corona and everything but I would go to this even outside corona days. Well that's it for today's vlog, it's jam packed with lots of different things so I hope that you have enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next video, bye. <laughs>